This is a demonstration of Flip Clip X installation on Scout XT. First, get to know your slingshot and the Flip Clip X. This is the target side of the slingshot. It is the side that faces the target as you shoot. This side facing away is the side that will face you when you shoot. This is the shooter side of the slingshot. This is the target side of the slingshot. The Flip Clip X for Scout XT has a logo. The logo will show you how to place the Flip Clip X properly. As you can see, there is a left and a right component to the Flip Clip X. The logo shows you where it goes. If the logo is to the inside, the hole will not line up, and the Flip Clip will be off-center when installed. The logo, when, shoot, when installed over the top, needs to go to the outside so that the fastener will line the flip clip up properly. When shooting through the forks, the logo will go up and the holes will be aligned properly. If the logo is down, the holes will not be aligned properly and the flip clip will sit far too low. Likewise, if installed incorrectly over the top, it will sit too far to the inside. We will start by demonstrating an over the top installation. Fuzzy side of the pouch in. This is how it will attach to the slingshot. You can do this several different ways. We recommend going ahead and getting the clip just started, just thread in just enough to hold it in place. Place your band set into the clip. Pull gently in place and tighten down the fastener until it grabs. This can be done by hand enough to grab the band. At this point, you have several choices to tighten. A coin is a great choice. It's a flathead fastener, so a coin can be used to tighten this down. There is no need to over tighten this. If you over tighten this, you could actually damage the latex band, so don't tighten too hard. Always just check your bands once it is in place. Make sure that it is secure. To finish this off over the top, we would do the same thing. Put the clip in place and start the fastener. If you would like, you don't have to fasten it to, begin to get started. You can put your band in place and then hold the flip clip on top of the band to hold it in place. If you get the band too low, your fastener will not be able to catch the threads of the flip clip. So that is something to be aware of. If you choose this method, put it in just enough to grab it, and then thread your fastener. If your latex is too low, your fastener will not thread. Get it just snug, make sure it's in there properly. Center this up a little better. And then tighten it down. Again, I'm going to be using a quarter here to tighten this down. These bands are now installed. This is a very, very simple band installation method. Now let's switch these around and install through the forks. So you'll remember the flip clips go on opposite sides when installing through the forks. This one will now go over on this side. I prefer this method to get it started. I'm going to do that with both. We'll get these in place. Shooting through the forks, the band orientation. Same fuzzy side in, but this time it's going around the side. Always very, very important to remember the the flip clips are installed on the target side of the slingshot. They are not installed on the shooter side. They are installed on the target side 
the band always wraps around the frame. This is now in place. Inside of the pouch in. Place the band. Get the flip clip in the groove. And tighten it down. Of course, you can also use a screwdriver. Uh, you can use the back of a pocket knife, whatever you have handy. Just do not over tighten. Tighten enough to clamp the band down securely. Always test your bands. Give them a good stretch when pointed down. Uh, make sure they're uh, installed securely, uh, but not over tightened. So finally, just remember your band always wraps around. The band set is on the shooter side, wrapping around the side of the frame. Flip clips are installed on the target side. Give it a test. You're not ready to shoot.